Valve, the company that owns Steam, has just made it possible for modders or pr people who create modifications for video games to be able to sell their uh, created content on the Steam Workshop. The first game that will have this uh, policy um, change implemented to it is Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Now this has created somewhat of a gaming uproar, or I mean uproar in the gaming community. A lot of people are super against this. They say that this can ruin the modding community. It's going to lead to, you know, people abusing the system. And um, a lot of people who said they create mods are saying that they're not going to do it anymore if this policy um, moves forward. Now, on our side, yeah, people are saying, yeah, people that create mods, uh, you know, they're pro for this, and they're and they think that this is something that should uh, have have happened a long time ago. Now, there's pros and cons to it, so let's talk let's talk about the cons or the negatives. First and foremost, with any kind of system like this, I can obviously see, and uh, you know, more and more people are going to start modding, and they're going to do it. Not to create, you know, not because they like doing it or to create quality content. They're going to do it because they want to make money. So you you might see an overabundance of crappy mods that don't work. And then also, you know, with so many people, with maybe so many more people wanting to, uh, you know, create these mods, you're going to see a lot of people, you know, or you want to see a lot of mods that are just broken. For the most part, all the mods that I've used seem to work flawlessly. You know, there might be some minor exceptions where you know maybe one item might be a glitch or something but overall the mods seem to work flawlessly also um, some of the cons of this is that people are complaining about the revenue split now the modders will get 25 percent and the people that or the the game the um, developers or the gaming companies will get the other 75 percent so a lot of people are saying that that's somewhat unfair I guess someone agree a lot of people spend lots of time making these mods so yeah it, you know that that's that should be open for discussion and uh, now let's let's move on to the the benefits of having uh, paid mods now first and foremost people who create these mods they spend vast amounts of time creating them some people can spend you know maybe a hundred hours training a mod for a video game and then have no kind of uh, you know compensation whatsoever and I'm a person who likes playing mods. I think that mods are fun. It brings a new, you know, narrative to a video game that maybe the developers or the publishers didn't intend or, you know, or didn't include in that game. So it's it's fun that people can change the game to, you know, to their liking or whatever. I think that's pretty, pretty cool or whatever. But, the, but you know, the people who do it, I mean, it's like you spend so much time. It's, you know, even if it's 25%, it's still something for your for your time and effort. I mean, they if, if they can get a hundred bucks, that's still not you know for some of these people who create some of these awesome mods. I still think that's not enough for uh, the amount of time they spent on it. And um, also with the with this, you know, it can it can lead to maybe more qualified people or or not qualified people, but more people creating quality content. Now, like I said in the the the, the bad the, the negatives or whatever. I mean, there is also the, the likelihood that, you know, people will do this and then create crappy mods that break, which can sort of suck as well. And then also I have another um, negative that this uh, policy change could bring forth. It can make the current modding community, um, you know, change drastically. You know, maybe the, 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 the free mods might almost, you know, disappear. So it's, I don't know. And then also if you look at the... Uh, the the steam website where they list the frequently asked questions they they've said that you're able to change the price of a mod but the specifics of it are still being worked out so that means that if you have a mod i mean maybe if you if you have a mod right now and it's free i don't know if this is a i mean it could be possible but it's just not very clear on it if you have a free mod and then they change it to like you know a certain amount of money, then you know maybe you're un you're you know not able to use it no more, which could suck, you know. Or you know maybe maybe once you you already acquired a free mod, then you know maybe they're they're unable to uh, charge you in the future. That's that's another big thing I think that uh, should be addressed by Steam. But overall, I'm somewhat looking forward to seeing what you know this leads to. 
I don't think it's going to destroy the modding community. I think that modding is always going to be around, especially free modding. Because to be honest with you, some people just like creating stuff and then, you know, having fun with it. But, you know, and I, I hope it doesn't, uh, I, I hope the, the, the bad doesn't outweigh the good. That's that's my main caveat. So that's all I got to say. Tell me what you guys think about this policy in the comments below and have a nice day.